Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at the first exam objective, which is to assign administrator permissions. In the last few videos, we had some background about the Azure Active Directory and the subscription and that knowledge is required if you have to understand this particular objective. So let's go to demo. The exam requires you to understand how to assign administrator permissions for your Azure subscription. So for assigning the permissions, first let me go to Azure Active Directory and create a user. Go to users section and you can add either a new user or a new guest user. The difference between the two is that if you select new guest user, you can add any domain address. For example, at gmail.com, at hotmail.com, everything is allowed as a guest user because that particular user is a guest to this Azure Active Directory tenant. Whereas if you select new user, for the username, you can only give the domain name that you have associated to this Active Directory. So if you come to Azure Active Directory, you can add domains to this directory. Now we have not added any domain and automatically the directory picks a domain name which is nothing but instructorvizlabs.onmicrosoft.com. It comes up with this name by suffixing onmicrosoft.com with the email address that you have used but they have removed at over here. So the email address that was used to create this account was instructor at vizlabs.com. So they have removed that .com and they have removed at and they have just joined instructor and vizlabs and they have suffixed that with on microsoft.com and that becomes your domain name. And that is a default domain name if you have not purchased any domain like contoso.com. So since I do not have any domain name or I have not purchased any domain name, I can only use this particular domain name if I am adding a new user. If you do not want to use that, then you add a new guest user if you would like to add other users from outside the directory. So let me add a new user and let me say Ravi at this domain name okay so if you click outside it will verify and uh, it will say that this particular username is valid note that if i try to change if i try to remove any of the character here see the error message which says that this domain name is not a verified domain name in the directory so you can only use the that default domain name or the domain names that you have purchased and associated to the active directory. So let me make the domain name valid and you can configure other roles like uh, what is the directory role. This is the Azure Active Directory role and uh, groups and profile and properties but we will not do any of that now and I will just go and give the name and say create and you can also say show the password and the reason why it tells it shows you the password is that you can use this username which i will show you in just a bit and this password to log in to azure portal so i will just make a note of these two and i will click create so the user is created within the active directory so now let me go to my subscription to assign that user some permissions so in the subscription go into your subscription and as i said in the last video you will do all the assignments within your access control page and within access control just say add now before assigning any role to the user let me tell you that since you have created an azure active directory user you can use the username and password to log into azure portal but you will not have any access to the azure subscription if you want that user to create and manage resources within the azure subscription then you need to assign that user a role 
at the subscription scope. So what I will do is I will pause here and I will open a new window and log in as a new user and show you the details. So here I am opened a new window in the incognito mode and go to my Azure portal and I will try to log in with the user that I have created and I will enter the password and it is asking me to update the password so I will just update the password here and sign in so right now that user is getting authenticated against the Azure Active Directory so I will just say maybe later so with this login, if you hover over the name, you note the domain section there. It says that the domain is instructorwithlabs.onmicrosoft.com, the domain or the domain to which I have added that user. And note that the default directory ID is the same as the ID from where you added this user. So let me go to subscription. And if I go to subscription, note that there is no subscription assigned to this user. That's what I was talking about. Since I have added the user to the Azure Active Directory, the user is only added to Azure Active Directory. If you want that user to be able to create and manage resources within your Azure subscription, then you need to give that user access to either of the scopes like subscription, resource group or a particular resource. So let me do that now. Let me come back and assign a owner role to this user and say save. So I am doing this at the subscription level. So he must be able to access all the resource group and all the resources within this subscription. You note know that you get a message added role assignment. So he was added for the free trial. So now let me go to my incognito window and check if I have been given the subscription access. So if I come to subscription, it is again telling you do not have any subscription. Probably I need to sign out and sign in. So let me do that in just a bit. And if I log in, note that I'm automatically able to see the storage account that was created as part of the subscription. So you can also go into subscription and see that you are assigned the free trial subscription and here you go i am associated to that subscription so i can use this subscription to create resources and a resource group within this particular login itself so that's how you would assign administrator permissions to a user at a subscription scope in this video, you have learned about assigning administrator permissions at the subscription scope and this is one of the objectives for your examination.